guys, what's up? We're back with another D21 video and my mouth is jacked up because I just got four wisdom teeth pulled. But anyway, today we're changing our valve cover gasket from Napa, that's right. Yeah, as you can see, I think mine's leaking because these bolts here, but we could be wrong. Let me try to get the back one. Cause you can see this one in the back is like not all the way in. I don't know if I did that on purpose cause these bolts are too long or what, or it's just literally leaking. Cause I've been driving a lot of highway miles, way more than I usually do in this truck. All right, so what you're gonna need is a tin, an extension and some pliers. That's literally all you're gonna need for this. Let's get started. So we're gonna take the intake off. Crack it loose with the tin, use your hand. Take them bad boys off. Right. So we're gonna remove our air box. To make life easier, I tried to go around without removing it, but some things just need to come off. If you can make access to go ahead. My only problem is when I remove my air box, it messes up my idle air control valve. And that's annoying, but I know I have a receipt somewhere in the car. So if that breaks off, it should be fine. So you just, you don't have to completely take it off. You can just loosen it just enough to get this hose off right here. There goes the camera. There we go. So now we're just gonna pull. I lost my clamp. Camera fell down, so basically you remove this hose here on your air box from the engine. All right, so. Now, we just have to take off our bolts. So the two back bolts are a pain in the ass, but you'll be able to get them off. It just takes a little bit of time. All right, now that we got all our bolts off, the valve cover should just pop right up. Just like that. There we go. You gotta kind of wiggle it back and forth a little bit. There we go. Ooh. As you can see, something fell. I don't know what that was, but I heard it. You see, our leak was coming right here, seeping out right there, right in that corner. See on the cover too. More than likely where it was coming out of it. See right there? Look at all that. And there's like a little hole in our gasket. It's a little tear. What I like to do is I get my old one and I set it next to this. Set it next to that. So we got it on. Everything's good, flush. The thing you want to do is remove your moon seals right here. Just get them with your hand, make sure you got a good grip, and just pop them out. Now the back seal has less room, so you just kind of want to gently slide it and try to catch it with your hand so you can get it up. 
All right, so we're gonna put our new moon seal in. Just the front first. It's just literally sits right there like that. All right. So we got the back on it. Now, the one thing to note about the back one is that the curve is bigger. You see that? It needs to sit along like this, between the head. Not back here. I made this mistake. I put it back here before. Oil leaked out, so you need it right there along that line, that area. Let that sit and just kind of go back and forth. It fits a little funny at first, but it should drop down and go flat. Okay, so the harness is in the way. There we go. Okay. Now, it's going to be a little wobbly because there's no bolts in it. But all you're going to do is line up your holes and just start bolting them in. Right, so now we're just going to line up our air box and put it back on. Let's do one more turn. Okay, we got a clamp on. Now we're just gonna line up our box. Alright. Alright, so we got everything back together. And as you can see, your moon seals here should be like that. Nice and flush. And then your gasket itself. Should be nice and flush there. And uh, I wiped off all the area where it was leaking and everything. And uh, so now we're just gonna check our oil. And if we lost any during the process of it leaking, we're just gonna top it off. You shouldn't lose too much with the valve cover leaking, but it, it needs to be changed ASAP because you will hear noises up top. This thing has been running for like 10 minutes and it's still cold. It's crazy. Crazy little trucks, man. But yeah, that's it. Until the next video. The next video, I'll clean off the engine bay. So we'll do that. Damn, Damn that's a clean water bottle. Yes. Alright, guys. Happy holidays.